That's what Kyrions do. Uh oh. EGM, EGM is in a precarious yeah. positioning. Right he now. knows that Bulba's jungling. He wants to do something about it, but now He's he so finds dead. himself in a one versus three, and he is dead as hell. This is going to be your first blood. Puppy's level six. Let's go. Loda has been. Oh, he used. Uh oh, he they used it. Yeah. Now this is like going to definitely be the go ahead for Secret. Seeing that, and they make their move. Disruptions there for Loda while they take care of the business here for Ake. Bit Slicing him down a bit. Not getting too much as far as damage outputs, but there's going to be the dunk, and it's going to finish up for the Lockie on this one. Loda makes it deep behind the tower, pops out the Sal, will begin to heal on up, and Puppy changes targets, looks to go for EGM, and boom! The double ion shell, and it's just so much. They're going to get even more here. Another dunk! Triple dunks, triple kills for Puppy. All right. So it ends up working out amazing for them. You know, they get a triple kill. You can't complain for it at all, but certainly not. And now Loda returns. He is muscling over Bulba right here, but Puppy... Let's him know that he is still hanging around. He's got the surge, moves and gets the call. Can he get the burst? Yes, he does. That is two takedowns now on the Loda. Puppy now dominating on his axe, and they're not done yet. Arteezy here looks to charge on in. A bit low in the mana department right now, but there is going to be an RP coming out from S4 himself. Good pump fake with the skewer, waits a bit, now gets it off. Burst comes through, though, with the help of the whirling blade of Arteezy, and with the surge, Great he drop. hightails it the hell out of there. Makes it into the side shop, it creeps away from trouble. They can't get anyone down from secret yet. And in fact, they might even take more with the help of the Battle Hunger and the Poison. It looks like EGM could also be going down. They will finally get a kill. Top lane. Yeah. They might glimpse back Bulba here. And it looks like they will right into a Static Storm. Pi can't save him with the Disruption and will be able to avoid the Shockwave. But Esmore's going to be waiting. Pops out the Illusion. Bumps back Bulba. Bulba tries to move in. And, well, he's not going to have a lot to do except drop out the wall and just dish out what damage he's going to do. And I'm looking to make a jump for that, but bottom lane, Envy pops out God Strength, walks himself into a Static Storm as Loda and S4 make their move in. Oh, swinging a miss on the Skewer with the help of the Pylai die, and that Disruption will avoid it. Glimpse back, but not before Arteezy gets the kill. Now they move in, S4 is going to get the RP off for Puppy. Puppy now sprouted up, he is locked in a Death Trap and will be going down the one fall from Secret so far. A two for one trade right at this moment. and. Oh, oh, shifty nice move for that. Bulldog, but they got the vacuum. They cancel the TP and they take down the Bulldog. I, it's just ridiculous that they last for 14 seconds now. It's so nice. And Soul Catcher, full combo, purged up. This Shadow Demon could do a lot of work just on the 1v1 if he gets a lot of poison damage off, and he's getting a good mount. Ooh, swing and a miss on the Timber Chain from Arteezy, but he steps into the Chakra. Big back. Jump in from Puppy. He will get quickly Telekinesis, and now a drop. The big one from Ake. Huge! Huge that storm! Combo. My god, Alliance! They wait a long time to get up a combo like that, but is it enough? Envy still secures a double kill for himself. It turns into a two for two. Aegis will be taken down. Envy hustles into the base, slashes down with the assistance from Arteezy, takes out Loda. And Secret will continue to get the bend red of these trades. Either like the perfect setups into, into a massive wombo combo or just a pick off before the fight happens. And this well, could be it right here. This could be it. They make a jump for Envy. They skew him right back and he yeah, goes down go. fast. Alliance staggering to quickly find any sort of leftovers here. It looks like they're going to be able to come across Pi. EGM waiting for a telekinesis, but it's going to be about 10 seconds. And, uh, well, Disruption, Counterplay, jump in, though. Confident Secret make their move. Another stack, so we're going to be dropped from Ake, though. Puppy able to barely finagle his way out from that trouble. And uh, Alliance will be able to withstand. They lose nobody here. Secret drop three. And they're not done yet. Alliance on the comeback now. Looking to make it four. They'll get it. And they lose nobody. Oh, man, the swing of net worth. And they even place like one or two uh, defensive ones in their own jungle. Oh, Envy jumps in for S4. Trying to go for the one-man... One-on-one -on -one takedown, not going to be able to get an EGM is there, steps in with a blink, gets something to stop, back and below, okay, drops down the sack, Storm ends up getting dropped himself while Arteezy will be the trade, a better one for Alliance, but Envy not done yet, steps forward, oh, that damage, not going to be enough, good four step, help save Jerry back into his base, they look for S4 again, a defensive sprout's not going to be enough to save him on this one, the perch takes him down, they move on in, Secret going in deep, too deep maybe, lose another two, and Bulba glimpsed back into trouble, Trouble and Alliance again will be getting the better trade in this fight. I said five steps now down to what three fights a bit, throw his ultimate, hit, get small pickoffs, and just make sure he doesn't die because he's worth a lot of money. He just has to be very careful with his positioning in the fights and how he uh -oh. really takes the fights. Arteezy Thunder Strike here. If they will really glimpse him back, yes, but no static storm follow up. They will get the sprout, the pullback. They're trying to burst him down. Beautiful skewer to get inside the base, but he does manage the timber chain back to the low ground and on the outside, but he's almost down. Envy jumps in, though. 
Oh, trying to get Lona, but a good force. Push him away, but he is still getting slashed down. There's a follow-up Sprout there. It's going to be the calling buddy to get him out from the Sprout, and they will get loaded down. Out for 80 seconds unless he does buy back. And Secret might force him to dip into the piggy bank at this point. They will finally be able to burst down Arteezy and force him to use that Aegis. Ake waits. No glimpse is available, and he will just quickly blink out on that new spawn and go right for the tower instead. This is perfect opportunity right now for Secret, though. Of course, like even before they kill the Juggernaut, they have their item timings to go at this current moment, this is their best time to go for the King Rice. Their ultimates are expended though, the wall is down, the god strength is down. They're waiting though, I mean, they just maybe need to keep an eye on uh, S4. Yeah, if S4 jumps in, they time the jump in with the buyback, the RP skewer back, they might be able to make a big play happen here, but the stars have to align, and they're not lining up quite yet, and Secret will continue to just take this opportunity to put some work in on these racks while Arteezy softens up the backliners as much as possible. Envy begins to crush down the racks. Looking to go for the range. Can't even finish it off yet. Buffy looks to move back in to finish what was started. Arteezy's literally just messing with the blink dagger from S4. Yep. He's going to get glimpsed back now. There's a secure. Oh, up. good. Telkinese will cancel the timber chain, and yeah, he gets the suicide, suicide off. Yeah. Nice hold by Alliance there. Maybe super late game, you get rid of it. Arteezy, catching out S4, Ooh, they get the call on him. Oh man, he is hitting him hard, S4. Will will have enough for a buyback, so he reserves the RP, but now they're only looking for more of a follow-up there. It's gonna be the buyback, and Arteezy rack rack runs rack back it away, but yeah, as mentioned, Envy goes to work, there's the RP, and it catches two. They only skewer back Lumpy for this one. Stolen Shockrim will fly out, but he pops his BKB and he four steps away from the trouble and makes it out from the base. While Envy turns it around, looks to go for S4. Can he finish him off? He certainly cannot. There, they'll get it though. They get the fall from Marchese. That is a die back there for S4, but Secret have already lost three all day. They're and they're about really to lose a, four. Alliance. committing super hard. Loda is in the back just cleaning everybody up. Secret in a bit of a disarray as they are just faltering away from doing the objectives now. Arteezy's oh, second life is not much of a life at all. Pretty confident now though. Running up toward that top lane. Oh, but we Secret. Smoke coming out from Secret. Yeah, now. they this are is gonna be a big engage. smoked and they are heading right for like a flank, a serious Envy's not there, bone here. Envy's not there for at least 15 more seconds. Yeah, he's way over by the side shop right he now. He sells the Echo Saber instead of the armlet and picks up his Lincolns on that slot. Okay. Jump in from Puppy to get the call. Disruption's gonna be there. My god, Arteezy just shreds right through S4 and Ake. And now Secret looking to clean up the rest. Lona's still able to kind of stand and fight. Pulled back, vacuum down below. Caught between the Iron Shell, forced to go into a Omni Slash to try to survive, but the damage is completely mitigated and Arteezy will zap him down with that fresh new Dagon. And that is four, taken down from Alliance. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. And for Alliance, well, they'll be forced to plateau a bit, with the exception of Loda can get with his illusions outside the base. No one else is really going to be able to get much for breadcrumbs in the farm department here, but they'll have to make do with what they already got. Ooh, ooh, they see Arteezy trying to TP away. So S4 makes the jump. They will abyssal lock him down, and he will be taken out. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a big old switch. Bottom lane. Oh, bull oh, dog. Caught out, taken out. He scales so well into the late game just with the benefit of that disruption. Yeah, the Soul Catcher And Soul Catcher too. Well. Even yeah. Purge, because it goes through the PKBs, scales very well, but he hasn't seen too much too much bite. He's been kind of coming back into the meta with the Terra Blade picks and after his recent buff of the disruption. Now Arteezy's back. And Secret as well will be looking to make an invade here in the bottom lane. And he sold his full bloodstone to buy hacks. Oh, Range, racks, set to fall. Wall will be committed. A buyback comes out from Bulldog and Secret reposition a bit. Arteezy could be caught once more under the static storm as Loda just looks to right click him down. Meanwhile, MB able to kind of move forward. Gets the kills for S4 and EGM. It doesn't matter in the end. They will be able to burst down Loda. He is out without a buyback. For nearly two minutes, I think this could be it. Secret move in for their next set of racks in the mid lane. That's it. It looks like it could be over. Uh, there's one more rack section. At the drop of a hat, Secret make their assault. Oh, and that's going to be the end of it. The racks. There we go. It's perfect opportunity seized by Envy there. He saw the mag next to somebody and he just stuns, gets the cleave damage, and yeah, just completely decimated him. There's S4 with the RP, but yeah, quick disruption. It had been a difficult game for S4. We saw a couple RPs, but none of those huge, significant RPs kind of be game changers here. 
Ends with a five-man wipe, but it is Secret who will walk away with the win. They are now 2-0 in the European qualifier. Alliance 0 and 2. Alliance were looking they were coming back in this game. It was it was still, of course, secret favor. Maybe we made it sound a little bit too much like Alliance was like, oh man, they're coming back so much. But they had some great engagement. They yeah. took some great fights. It was just unfortunate for them that top lane engagement really screwed them. Yeah, maybe more of a lesson learned for Secret. Just a couple of times they got, as you mentioned, a little overzealous. They have to remember to kind of keep patience.